Hi everyone, we are in week three and I wanted to go over some items just to make sure that there were no, uh, no confusion on them. So I'm gonna share my screen with you, point out a couple things and talk about them to hopefully help guide you. So week three, as you can see, our task list, the uh, three items, essentially read chapter two, these pages in the OER textbook, which means uh, open education resource, it's free, it's on our Moodle page, and if you'll notice, it's hot link, you can click right into it. It's also found in our resource section. Uh, I do want you to go over all the items for the resource, and then a complete activities and assignment section. You will notice there are only two items that you need to do this week. Uh, there are only two because they're going to be very time consuming. So all of the resources this week are geared in support of your assignment. So I would recommend the first thing you start with is the I Believe essay instructions. So when you click into it, it goes over all of the items for this essay. This is our first essay for submission. This is what we've been building toward. You did a review of a narrative in NPR. You worked on some outlining and thesis work in preparation now for your drafting and putting it into final form. So go over the instructions. I talk about the organization. I also talk about the introduction. Don't forget, you do need a thesis. I'm not gonna go over all these because I know you can read through them. However, I do wanna remind you that you are required to do a writing center appointment. And this essay is where one of them that I want you to do. So we're gonna talk about that in a second. That, I would go over the, all of the instructions in detail. The other item is the grading rubric. So as always, I provide you with a grading rubric so you know what I'm gonna be looking at in your essay. So you are able to achieve whatever score you wanna achieve on it. You'll know where the items are that I'm looking at, what they're weighted at, all of that kind of thing. So you can open that and look at that. It's a resource for you. The textbook, I, the link is right here. So again, if you wanna read those pages, which you should because it talks about the process of drafting and then of course revising and doing some final touches on your essay in the end. This is a very important resource, how to set up your paper in MLA format. We've been working on this this semester so far. Almost every item I've assigned, I've referred to and made comments in regarding, you'll see this in feedback, corrections. So you do want to make sure your essay is set up in MLA format, MLA to eight document design. The next resource is called Grammar Girl. This is a YouTube channel. This particular resource has lots of different help for various areas of grammar, if grammar is an issue for you. Uh, most of us do not speak proper grammar, so we don't always hear it. So that's really helpful if, for example, you're not sure what verb goes with what type of noun. Another resource that you can have, or that you can use is Grammarly. This is another great resource for grammar items. And these really help, especially in the final stages where you're just doing cleanup, where you've got your content, you've got your idea, and now you're just proofreading and making sure it flows nice and that it sounds correct. Uh, Purdue OWL is also a wonderful resource for grammar resources. Purdue Owl has many resources, but also grammar. You'll see this resource come up a lot this semester. And then of course, writing consultation. And you're saying, why is that? Well, there's a video on how to make a writing consultation appointment. If you've never done a writing consultation online, you may be new to this, uh, you're not quite sure how to do it. The video walks you through how to set an appointment and do a writing consultation online. So. The activities, there are only two activities that you need to do this week, but there's only two, but they are somewhat time consuming, so they're gonna take a lot of time and effort. The first is I want you to get a writing consultation on your draft of the I Believe essay. So when you click in this, it just simply tells you you need to complete an online consultation. 
after you completed the session, then I want you to reply the revisions that you talk about with the consultant to your essay. Now, you don't need to submit anything on the consultation to me. I'm able to go in and verify that you did it this week and who you did it with and how much time, those kinds of things. You simply need to make the appointment and follow through and do the consultation. So those are generally about an hour long. Not always, but as a general rule, they take about an hour. And all of my students rave about them. They are incredibly valuable. They give wonderful feedback, tell you how to improve. And I think you're gonna find it a really beneficial thing. So you do need to have that complete. You need to do that this week. And then I suggest you do it as early as possible because then you can go back and revise. So whatever you talk about with that consultant, apply into your final submission. So the I Believe essay submission, after you've done your proofreading, after you have done your revisions, after you have gotten it to the level that you want it to be, then you're gonna upload it and your box, mine says view, but yours is gonna say upload submission. You're gonna upload it here. Remember, pay attention to the instructions and the requirements. So once again, I give you the essay rubric. This is how I'm gonna be grading. These are the items I'm looking at. And I give you the prompt, which is the instructions. So you want to make sure you adhere three full pages, which means you have some spilling onto the fourth. And there are other criteria too, MLA, document design, all those kinds of things. So make sure you adhere to all that because all that is part of the grading rubric. And you're gonna upload it there. But before you upload, make sure you've done your revisions that you talked about with your writing consult. That's the whole point of the consultation to help you catch things before you submit and improve your writing. So, um, like I said, there's only two items, but they're a bit time consuming this week. The writing consultation is a minimum of an hour and the drafting your final submission, you know, you, you, that may take you probably three or four hours. You want to do your draft, but then you want to do at least a minimum one revision and you review it and proofread those kinds of things. You are welcome to do more than one writing consultation. So if you do a writing consultation early enough and you do your revisions and you're like, oh, I'd like to get another one because I think I, I want to you know, go for the A. Absolutely, I only require one, but you may do as many as you have time for, no problem. So I'm going to stop sharing and I hope that gave you a good overview of what's going on this week. Make sure you do not procrastinate on that writing consultation. Make sure you get that done. They're incredibly valuable. I cannot emphasize that enough that you need to uh, make use of that opportunity to help, help your writing. You are welcome to reach out to me. I can also talk with you about your paper. Um, you can do the Zoom office hour. I'm don't forget on our Moodle page, I have two hot links. So if it's Monday at 10 a.m., you can just simply click on, I have the room waiting. Tuesday, 10 a.m., click on the link. I have the room waiting. If you need to meet with me outside those days or times, not a problem. You do need to send me an email requesting day and time so I can set up a Zoom invite and I'll send it to you via email and you just click on the link. Make sure you are doing it at the day and time though that we set. Zoom is limited to the day and time. So that link is only good at that day and that time. So we have to make sure that our, our calendars sync. I think that's it for this week. Um, just one last thing, we are in week three. So tomorrow, which will be Monday, June 15th, I'm going to be sending out academic warnings. Academic warnings are gonna to go to anybody below a 73.4% and anybody who's missing work. So you wanna make sure you're keeping current with work. Summer session in particular goes very fast, it's only eight weeks. And it's easy to fall behind and you do not wanna fall behind with the writing because this is essay number one, it counts, it's pretty heavily weighted. And we move right into essay number two and they continue to build. The skills you're learning in this one is going, are going to apply. We want to make sure you stay on track, do not fall behind. So. Uh, reach out to me if you have questions or concerns. I'm happy to conference with you as well via Zoom. But make use of your writing consultation. Happy writing this week. As always, uh, you can email me with questions or concerns as well.